Well, coming through live from Monte Casino, this is hashtag MSW. Vara Sports Worldwide, brought to you 947, also for my FM, Rise FM, and so on live, wherever you are around the country, the continent, or the world. It's good to be here. You know, it's, it's good to be here for many different reasons, and I'm sure you can hear the ambience in the background. It is a historical occasion today. It's one of those moments to be proud of, and you can share some of the thoughts of what we're going to be telling you right now. Uh, the WhatsApp voice note number 060-708-0484, 608 let me give you a bit of background. His name is Kaiser Mutaung Sr. A revered individual in the world of football. A football team that is probably one of the most supported. A football team that is the one of the most well marketed in South Africa. The success rate is enormous. And that is why today, I mean this evening's broadcast certainly one of the, it's one for the books. And coming live to you from Monte Casino, this is one gala dinner that promises to be unforgettably exhilarating and also hair-raising. Hair-raising because we're all football lovers one way or the other. A night to honor a man whose legacy has transcended the sporting world. And it should be said, his induction into the Hall of Fame is certainly long overdue. But hey, nevertheless, time has come and that time is tonight. It is big. And to tell us more about the special night, I am joined by Johnny Berger, chairman of the South African Hall of Fame. Uh, he's been part of this journey for more than 10 years now. Johnny, an absolute pleasure to have you here by our side. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Yeah, Robert, thank you very much. Uh, I think the, the, the privilege is ours. You know, it's such an it's, it's such a incredible evening waiting for us to, to really give recognition to a man that, that's so well deserved. A lot of people will say well deserved but the most important thing as you and i were speaking off air the man is alive he is here to receive the honor to get his flowers and smell them yeah i must tell you in a hundred years from now none of us will be here yeah. you know but the legacy and by definition what's a legacy it's to leave something bigger and longer lasting behind than just yourselves in a hundred years from now, the inspirational storytelling and the legacy of Dr. Kaiser Mutung will still echo through the passages of the South African Hall of Fame. You know, we say we celebrate great achievements by extraordinary South Africans and everybody's asking me why. Why do we do that? Yes, we've got to preserve it, but we celebrate in order to inspire our youth and then we need to empower them to reach their full potential. What was it about uh, Dr. Kaizam Daung? I mean, I mean, I'm looking here. You and I are standing in front of the wall of fame that he's had, the wall of success, the timeline, as you'd want to call it. What is it? What is it in this journey throughout day one of embarking on this journey up until now when you induct him tonight into the Hall of Fame? Well, I think there's a perception in South Africa that one man cannot make a difference. You know, we've got hundreds of thousands of people living in despair. Yeah, well, hope is a wonderful thing. We don't know really what it does, but we know how it feels. And here comes a man, and, and, and we talk about passion, but what about perseverance? You know, it's not only passion, it's passion, you know, partnered with perseverance. And I think that is what makes Dr. Kaiser such an outstanding individual. You know, when he was at Atlanta Chiefs, he had a hell of an offer. Yeah. He declined it and he had this vision for his own country. And it wasn't always easy. You know, he had tough times. And he pushed through and perseverance made him one man that made a massive difference. And I always say, if a Kaiser Mutung can do it, there's a junior sitting in the space somewhere. And he will find out on the shoulders of this giant and he will start dreaming big and he will make a difference in the next generation. I mean, you, you chat and I, I look there and some, some of the pictures will depict another great of world football, which is Pele, who we sadly lost as well recently. Mm. Now, when you are able to, back in those days, to go to America, rub shoulders, play alongside the likes of Pele, then I would look at you, Johnny, and say, you know what? This is not wrong. This induction, yes, long overdue, but you've taken the initiative now to do it. And pictures like that 
show you to what lengths this man has gone to and also the respect that another gentleman who was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2001, which is the late Nelson Mandela, they shared the trophy. Very special moments, very key moments, very key takeouts. What's your impression about that? Just trying to tie those dots together. Well, I think we've got to first take a step back. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, you know, if I have to ask South Africans who the sportsman of the year was last year and the year prior to that, and who was the top performing artist at the artist at the music awards, we don't know. Because you get the awards and it's lost in translation somewhere. You know, where this cements historic achievements, extraordinary achievements. I mean, how bigger will you ever find a Madiba, a Kaiser Mutung, a future Irvin Koza, a future Patrice Mutsepe? It's all about, you know, we've got to create that hope for our youth. You know, I take, we've inducted Gary Player. Yes. Now, nobody knows that Gary's, Gary Player's mother died when he was 10 years old. His father worked underground. He had to get himself to school, back to home. He had to feed himself. He cried every night because he was scared and alone. And yet, he became a remarkable sports ambassador for his country as Dr. Matung. And we've got to preserve that. And talking about uh, Gary Player, I mean, obviously, also recently lost his wife in a week where today is what thursday so yeah net bank golf challenge underway at sun city mm. another legacy another golf course with his signature on it i mean there's so many things that we can uh, talk about here about kaizam taung when it comes to the hall of fame today you're in duct we are here at monte casino elsewhere in the world you would find an opportunity for people that can't be here have not been invited to then go and view have we come to that stage where we can go and see the inductees their story their timelines in the manner that we're seeing now maybe just talk me through that yeah i think it's a very important point i think times have shifted yeah. you know we've had museums in the past and the problem with a museum it's old books and dust and you visit it once and you never go back we've got a hall of fame the home of the hall of fame is at f and b stadium which, by the way, is the home ground of Kaiser Chiefs. Yes. It's an interactive exhibition. So it's technology driven. There's running tracks and virtual reality and touch screens. So you interact with your respective heroes. So we've always said, you know, Hall of Fame is Hall of Fame, but Hall of Fame cannot be Hall of Fame if you don't have a home. You know, and uh, uh, interesting enough, the most important thing for us, if you go back to 1806, we've got 134 Hall of Famers. So to become a Hall of Famer is probably the most difficult but the highest accolade that you can achieve in this country. We are 120 years later and we've got 134 Hall of Famers. It's not easy. Yeah, and the world deserving. As we wrap things up though, Johnny, and I know that you've got a lot of people to meet. You're basically our host. You're everybody's host. The guests tonight, what can people expect? In that room, I uh, see some massive dignitaries milling around here. Just give us, just whet our appetites a bit. Yeah, it's going to be a night of celebration. It's, uh, I always say, inspirational storytelling. It's going to be an emotional night. The night is only about Dr. Mutung and what he's achieved. We've got incredible people here. I mean, Sipo Hot Sticks Mabuse is performing. Um, it's going to be a night, and that's what we always say, is it's an it's a intimate night. It's a night of emotion. It's a night of remembering who this yesteryear hero really is and, and was, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, I saw Sipo Hot Sticks rehearsing earlier, and I had the privilege because I was dipping into a little bit of Soweto, a little bit of Pefeni in terms of Kaizam Daung. But that's where it is. He's going to burn it up as he's always done all of these years. And I wish you the best of luck tonight, Johnny. I mean, this is setting the mark. This is a benchmark for all of South Africa. And in future, it will spread its wings. And I'm sure in future, the Rassi Rasmuses will be here creeping in. Doubt. Because he's achieved something really, really remarkable. As young as he is, we have not achieved that. So I think this will be a motivation even for him. If he can do better, so be it. But you've done well. 100%. Thank you very much. And I think even bigger, it's live on TV tonight. Yeah. Um, bigger than that, I've always said, you know, my biggest goal in my life is to create opportunities for our youth, for talented children that's living in despair. And it's moments like that. I promise the public out there that will never stop.
creating bursaries, opportunities for future talent. Because if guys are Mutuhun can make it, there's somebody out there that can do it as well. Chairman of the South African Hall of Fame, Johnny Berger, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We'll, we'll do a mic. Cheers. Thanks, Robert. Thank appreciate you very, it. very much indeed. Well, that's the yeah. man who is going to be... Well, he's in charge. I mean, he's the chairman of the Hall of Fame. And, uh, you know, when you talk about timelines, when you talk about individuals who would have played, who would have mixed uh, with the likes of uh, Kai Zamdaung in his playing days, then we also got to look around. We've got to try and see who are some of those uh, superstars that have gathered here with us. And, I mean, I, I, I have not seen him for many, 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 many years. Gordon Banks, Sir Claude. Banks Sir Claude, as they all is would say looking young looking fresh but was so so good to see you and uh, an honor and a pleasure a privilege a legend in your own right welcome to the show and welcome to the day that your former teammate gets inducted how are you feeling well we, firstly let me say it's good to see you too uh, uh, it's not it's not just it's not just that uh, we celebrate a king it's not just we celebrate uh, a master it's not just that we celebrate you know somebody who had so much so many people uh, around him that today looks upon him today Robert, I'll say, before you ask me so many questions, <laughs> I'll say to Kaiser Mutau, like he always said to us, let's start something so people they must follow. So today I believe this is an era that Kaiser Mutau is one of those who will be witnessing his achievement while he's still alive and i mean i would have mentioned the gordon banks of this world when azu joseph who would come in and wonderfully take charge of a nickname like that and you live it and you show it and here you are today looking as healthy and as if you are about to step onto the soweto derby this coming weekend what is it about this man, Dr. Kaizam Daum, in your opinion, set him apart, made him different, even then when he was still a player, that today Kaiser Chiefs is as big an institution as it is right now? Yes, Robbie, you know, some of the things we forget, but I will never, never, ever forget what Kaiser Mutaum told me. It was in 1972. 1972 he said to me Banksy you know I had a dream of seeing this Kaiser Chiefs owning their own you know can you imagine their own training uh, ground their own uh, facilities Robert then we were training at a small ground that has no grass that had no poles but this man was talking to me like you know this thing is achievable. But unfortunately, he was talking to somebody who was not yet there. When these things came after years, it's when I realized, it's when I remembered, when he told me many, many years before he even achieved those things. You know, Robbie, Kaiser, as a footballer, he used to say to us, Banks Ace, football is about you. It's not about the team, it's not about the people who are witnessing, it's about you. Nobody must tell you when to wake up to go and train. Nobody must tell you when to stop training. You are yourself in this, because football, when you trot onto that pitch at Orlando Stadium, that is like arena, that is your stage. Train, do things, and show the people that ace is ace. You own this uh, 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 arena. Banks, behind those two, those sticks, if you can let that goal in, people, they'll never forget that you let one in. If you made 20 saves, but 
Banks, don't forget not to let one goal in before we lead. So we took it. While we were still, you know, a, a young boy, but when we grew up, we took it and then we made it. And then oh, it was no surprise that Ace went abroad. It was no surprise that I was one of the best uh, 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 keepers in the country because of this man, Kaiser Mutau. What an inspiration. I mean, what a story. You owe me a visit, though, Banks. You owe me a visit on a Friday. I still have not, till this day, honored you on our Legends show. Please make an on-air promise right now that you're going to make it before 2023 is over. Yes, Roby. It's not a problem yes. to come to talk about, you know, what I like most. A man, myself, we were very close. The whole of Kaiser Chiefs, yeah. like today, it's, it is not a slogan, Robert, yeah. to say a Kaiser Chiefs family. It is not. We, Kaiser Chiefs was born being a family. We stayed in that house at Perfeni. We were more than 10 players, Robert. And then the family of Kaiser Mutawin was also staying there. We ate together, we slept together, we do everything together. We sang together, we prayed together. Hence the team, it was so successful. Oh. Banks at Lodi, thank you so much. I really thank you. So good to see you. So good to see you. So good to see you as well. Oh, Robert. man, what a, what a legend. And he's promised us that on a Friday, he's going to pop through, chat to us. You know what? I've never seen anybody look in such tip-top shape in the class of Kaizam Dawo. I'm going to take a quick break. When we come back, I see big Yan Malomboli Chaba on the other side. I'm throwing around my eyes. I'm seeing legends filling up this entire hallway as we celebrate the greatest the induction today of Kaiser Mdawung Senior. Dr. Kaiser Mdawung Senior is going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame amongst many luminaries. And as you heard earlier on from uh, Johnny Berger, who's the chairman of the Hall of Fame, uh, just saying that what a remarkable feat. But also, not everybody in life, in their journey in sport, gets this opportunity. And yeah, man, no, it's teaming Dr. Victor is here Ramatisela. Uh, he's going to be the MC for the day taking charge of what happens on stage hopefully before he gets on stage we might get a quick word with him uh, just to find out how he's feeling he's a man with a great deal of knowledge a former Bafana Bafana medical doctor one of the first worked with the late Clive Barker worked with the late now Phil Jones at Zedi. but one man who I always say whenever I see him the stalwart the man that made jersey number 15 so famous at Kaiser Chiefs that he looks younger and younger and younger Big Yan Malombo Lichaba. Good to see you, Baba. Welcome to the show. Oh, no, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Rob. I uh, just want to say that uh, I feel very much happy. I feel very, very much privileged to be here. The privilege, though, comes through one man that you know so well, Kaizam Dawung. Yeah. What an honor. Yeah. An induction into the Hall of Fame. What does that mean for you, firstly, and just for Kaiser Chiefs and him as an institution? Ah, uh, well, um, I think for me, I feel very proud about uh, Dr. Brakeza, boy boy, Mudawu. <laughs> you know, uh, it's, a, it's a very a good thing. I think it, the man deserves it. Eh? Uh, I mean, if you see what he has con contributed to soccer, it's something that is amazing. The Kaiser Chiefs, the empire of Kaiser Chiefs, that is something that is amazing. The job that he has done for South Africa is something that is amazing. And even, you must know that uh, Dr. Kaiser Mudawu, he, he is one of the players that they play abroad during the time of apartheid. That is the way that, that that shows the way how good he was, and I think that uh, he deserved this. And uh, I'm so happy to see some of my friends, Jackie and uh, you know Banks. Told you know it's was, very was, good. It was Jackie Masika? I think I saw, I saw someone around there. Yeah, yes, Jackie. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. he is uh, shaking hands. No job, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, 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 no, <laughs> but, yes. but, but in all of that that you're saying, mm. the, the history, I mean, just behind you here where we're standing, yeah. is, is, is this timeline, is the meeting with Bellis, 1969, yeah. making his debut for Atlanta Chiefs yeah. on the 27th of May, 1968, yeah. against the visiting English champions, Manchester City. Yeah. And it's, it's no stranger, though, that Man City are still dominating to 
today uh, yeah. back to their dominance. And then it goes back to South Africa, his journey, his involvement with FIFA, and even his involvement uh, with the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Yeah. I mean, you cannot stop Big Yan talking about Kaiser no. Mudaung. No. But for when somebody who's been so close to him, what was it? What was that trigger that kept driving him to success? You know, uh, uh, Dr. Kaiser Mudaung is a man of his way. He's somebody who who always will tell you about success. And then he'll tell you that uh, never ever in love give up. And then he'll tell you that uh, in, for you to, 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 I mean, to achieve, you need to be strong. You know, when I was young, let me just tell you this story. Him and the late uh, Chipa, uh, 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 Chipa Mloy, the father of the Mloy, they came to Mami Lodi. They were doing this thing of Coca-Cola and Braki was playing by then. And then, uh, you know, I was a young boy by then. I was not Malomba, I was just young. Yeah. And then I asked him this question. And then uh, I say, you know, after, 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 uh, after everything, and then he say that, uh, is there anyone who want to ask question? I say, me. And then he say, what is your question? I say, no, uh, uh, but okay, uh, I, I just wanted to know what makes you to be the best player. Mm. He said, what? I say, what makes you to be, to be, to the, be best the best player? player? And then he said that in life, not only in football, there are three Ds that you need to follow. Dedication, determination, and discipline with the big R, respect. He said that if you can hold those things in your life, you'll be successful. And that's why I, 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 I follow him. And at the end of the day, I play for Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> it's incredible that so many years down the line, the three Ds and the R still are yes, remembered yeah, by you. Yeah, yeah. And are those some of the things that you have shaped your life by? Yeah. Would you say that that's what steered Big Yan Malombo Chaba to be where he is today? Yeah. Because the last time I spoke to you, you were telling me, you're in shape. I can see that. You are jogging. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. You, you, you don't want to be this former player who looks like a sumo wrestler and everybody no, no, wonders no, no. about no, no, what no, no. you did with your life. Yes, Is that yes. part of the motivation? Yeah, though? just a part of motivation. And then, you know, uh, he was, uh, uh, Dr. Kazem Day, he was, he, was, he was our role model. Yeah. yeah, you know, during that time of Kaiser Chiefs, this uh, bell bottom and this, uh, <laughs> we, you know, yeah, they, what do they call it? Ipem. 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 And then yeah. uh, Kaiser Chiefs were known by that's why it's in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was stylish they loved then the italian dressing up yeah. the italian design and there were shops i think even the late uh, phil satzetti used to run a shop yeah. uh, down in um in, in small street and uh, a culture the salon, and sand. then there was the a saloon that was yes, there yes. but it was about the italian dress yes, code yes yes always what was the attraction with the italianos italiano you know, yeah, you can see him now. You can't say that he's old because you can see now he, the way he's dressing. Yeah. yeah, you know, I say, you always say that uh, to us, you know, right? Cleanness is next to godliness. You must always be clean so that people, they must respect you. This institution called Kaiser Chiefs grows and grows. Yeah. It also grows on the back of the successes that you guys had yeah. there was never a season that ended without you guys winning trophies yeah how do we get chiefs how do we celebrate this induction and say let it be an inspiration for the guys to know that even their glory their future lies in replicating dr mdown yeah you see rob let's be you know sometimes we've got to be honest to ourselves and tell the truth uh, you know when i was young at the age of 20 when i was 20 23 when i was playing for kaiser chiefs i i, I said to myself i felt honored to be part of that uh, this team and then i used to be somebody that is special but but, but the most important thing is that uh, my lifestyle changed altogether you see, that's a very, very important thing. To change your lifestyle, you know where you belong. From what to what, though? If you say your lifestyle changed, Big Yan, change from what to what? You know, you, to, to be a, a sportsman, yeah. you must know that you are a sportsman. You must know that uh, you are playing for a, a, a big team, a big brand. Whatever you do, 
it needs to be something that is professional. You don't have to do anything at mm. random, like oh, uh, what these other guys are doing. I, I mean, you are playing. You always think about the brand all the time. You see. Oh. I mean, when you hear such inspiration, when you hear such words, it drives something deep down inside. And, you know, it's it's on the eve again. We, you can count hours yeah. until it's the Soweto Derby. Maybe yeah. let's throw in, as a final comment with you, your feelings, your thoughts. In your day, it was the magic that you brought in. In your day, it was about you going to that very same salon, fixing your hair, yeah. making sure that... You're looking at you know, yes, yes. It, 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 it was just about yeah. putting on the magic so that the fans have something to remember. Yeah. How, how are you feeling about Saturday? Yeah, you know, you know about, uh, 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 about Saturday, during our time when you say that uh, it's a derby, the derby started two weeks ago when we talk about the derby. And then you see all the takes rang, everybody, <laughs> you know, you know, that, 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 you know, that feeling. Yeah. Everybody was feeling that, you know, there's going to be a derby. And, uh, you know, the derby was a derby. Yeah. With us, we have never let our supporters down. Sure. We have never let our supporters down. Do you even and know how many to trophies you won in, in, in your time at Kaiser Chiefs? I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't count them because too what many. you are too many because there was no year. That we didn't, you know, you must know that I played for this team some, something like 13 years. There was no year that uh, uh, we didn't win a, a trophy. There was in 1984 where we, where we won everything. That was a clean sweep. Yeah, yeah. the clean sweep. Yeah. Everything that was in the league, we won it. And that was Kaiser Chiefs. Pretend that Kaiser Daung is standing right in front of you right now. You want to encourage him, you want to motivate him, but most importantly, you want to congratulate him. What would you say? I would say that. Uh, Dr. Brake, I just want to say thank you very much because I think you have played a very important part in my life, especially because, you know, I was supposed to be a Zozi maybe, but to throw you, for, for you, you know, to say that I must be disciplined, then I say to myself, this is very good. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. You know what, Big Yen? I have so much respect for you. You know that, right? Thank you. I've always told you this. Yeah. And when I see you, I'm motivated. When I see you, I go back to the days yeah. of Sales House, Champ of Champs. Yeah. I go back to the days of JPS. Yeah. I go back to days of many, many things of which yeah. you were in the forefront of. Thank you. And I thank you so much for presenting yourself here. Yeah. Go in there. Go and enjoy. You're looking really smart. Oh, thank you very much. You must much. tell me who does your clothes, man. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, big yeah, don't, don't, forget, job. don't forget to invite me in your show. Absolutely. He's a legend. And it deserves to be on the Legends show. I'll give you the address, Bob. I'll give you the location. Okay. And I hope to see you there soon. Thank you. Let's do a microphone. Cheers. Cheers. Nazog. Thank Nazog. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much indeed. And with that, so, I mean, we, we, we talk... We, we, we talk history. We, we talk, you know, the handover. But we also talk about a great deal of pride, man. I, I'm, I'm standing with the backdrop of Keza Daung. It would normally say senior because K. Zamdaung Jr. has just joined me here. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. And welcome to an induction, a historical one. A man much revered, chairman of the club, but most importantly, the leader of the house of the Mdaungs. How are you feeling right now? Um, good evening, Rob. Uh, I actually believe there's no words to describe today. Yeah. Uh, I think we are extremely blessed. I mean, we always tell ourselves and remind ourselves every day about how privileged we are to have a leader like him still with us and on evenings like this it really hits home you know it really hits home and i don't think we'll ever really understand the kind of individual that we have the privilege and, and honor an honor to 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 be with on a daily basis so it's a massive privilege um honestly very excited uh, also very humble because we 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 look at the achievements that dr Mdaung has and it's um, really is an inspiration a lot of people leave such occasions, Kaiser, for moments when the individuals are no more. Yeah. What gives me a great deal of pride is that yeah. he's, still very, he's still very much alive. Yeah. He's still very much able to absorb the moment and hear the speeches, look at the visuals that will be played later on. How important is that to shower people, induct people in this manner? I think it's massively important. You know, a, a, big, a big thank you goes out to the Hall of Fame team and, and, and everyone behind putting this project together. I think, you know, when it comes to Dr. Mdaung, we still 
in the office early in the morning and, and probably is the last to leave every single day. So he is the heartbeat. He is our flagship. He is our direction on a daily basis. And for him to be on it, for him to stand and hear these speeches and hear the words, also the lives that he's touched, yeah. and to for him to be the one at the center point because he's always told us that it's always about other people. And he never wants to be in that central role. And that's the humility of the man. And for him to be relaxed and sit down and allow others to, to speak of his name, it's massive, and, uh, and I think um, it's, it's a great beginning, and I hope many more to come. What keeps him calm? That's, that's one attribute about him that I've always admired from a distance, no matter the pressure, yeah. no matter what happens. It is ability to be rational, mm. to be calm, yes. not to be overtaken by emotion, whatever it is that is riding the crest of the wave at the time. You probably have observed him closer than anybody. Mm. How do you think he manages that? Yeah. Because this is a big brand that he has built around his name. It's a massive brand, and I think that's, that is akin to a, a proprietary secret. You know, I think with him, he really has a great solid foundation. And I know um, Mem Dong at home uh, has really provided an environment for him with a lot of support, a lot of structure. But I think also, you know, I think he's a very unique human being. The house could be on fire. There could be uh, massive trembles happening next door and he'll always remain calm. Maybe to his detriment, we don't know how he truly feels, but he always has the knack of bringing up the right solution because he has really in tune with um, his greater power, I would say. So it's, uh, it's a marvel to watch. Yeah, it's, it's time kicking me, kicking me right now, yes. saying I must go for a break. Yes. But what would your message be to him? I know he's in the car, he's listening right now. What's your message to him via this platform? I will just say thank you. I think um, thank you, thank you. And thank you. And I think that we are going to do everything we can to make sure that we live up to his legacy, do the best we can to uphold his name uh, and what he's achieved. But at the end of the day, it's basically a thank you because the lives that he has touched, the, the way he has changed demographic, the socioeconomic standpoint of this country, I don't think all of us really actually understand. And it really is just merely say thank you, leader, for everything that you've done for us. We love you. We care for you. And we, we wish you nothing but the best. But again, it's a massive thank you to a great leader. Thank you so much. Go in and, uh, and enjoy so Thank much you. to be enjoyed out there. Uh, technical Director at Kaiser Chiefs, Kaiser Dong, Senior and Junior are here together. That's the, that's the amazing part. Junior is the one chatting to me now. Yes. Trust me, if we see Senior, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 we might just do something there uh, just to get one word or so. But you know yeah. what? Thank you so yeah. much indeed. Uh, this is a really great, for me, I am happy to witness it Great. from the bottom of my heart because it goes to a man that deserves it. He does, he does. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you so much, Keza. Thank you, And sir. good luck for Saturday. Thank you very much. The big one. Hey. Yeah, we're hey. ready. We're ready. I'm not going to ask you about that. We're ready. I'm not going to ask you about that. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> and with you, those bro. words, he says he is ready. Uh, Keza Mdong Jr. here joining us right here on tomorrow Sports Worldwide. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. You know, it's an incredible evening. It's one of those, it almost looks like it's an Oscar Awards of football, but it's about the induction today of Dr. Kazem Daung, celebrating him, the, the football icon. And right now, though, uh, we've got Farhan Sumaya, online betting director from Sokhasan. They are our hosts here today. Oh, have you had, ever had something like this? I mean, here we are. Hall full of celebrities. We've just seen the minister walking in, Bobim Daung, Bantu Holomisa. I can go on and on. Firstly, thank you so much for putting together an awesome event like tonight. Uh, Robert, our absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Um, absolutely excited to have you guys here this evening. Um, and when you talk about excitement in evenings like this, um, all I can say it's Monte Casino. This is what happens at Monte Casino. So uh, this is what it's that this is what entertainment is all about. I mean, you move from the crowds of the Rugby World Cup and all the excitement from that back to the basics of football. I mean, how big is this? The induction of one of South Africa's biggest football icons, Kaizam Daung. Um, absolutely fantastic. And I think key here is um, Toho San's partnership with the Hall of Fame. I think that partnership signifies what we're doing here today because it's all about creating inspiration for the youth out there and inducting the legend that is Dr. Kaizam Daung into the Hall of Fame at one of our properties signifies the bond that Soho San has with the Hall of Fame and our intention to create more moments like this. And it's all about the youth and what does is, what is the future of sports look like. So uh, youngsters out there are looking forward to events like this. It's their hero. Kaiser Mutang is their hero. And I mean, what the man's done not only for soccer, but uh, for business in itself, the, the country in itself, uh, you know, the, the, the soccer community in itself, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, Farhan, what can we expect more? I mean, Soko San, 
you guys are very creative you love the space within sports especially it's not just about what Monty or any other Tokosan gives but just from the sporting side of things any any information anything you can share going into the new year um, in terms of sports I think our biggest this is probably our biggest calendar event from a sporting perspective Incredible. Uh, more so because of our partnership with the Hall of Fame um, all I can say is uh, as any true marketer would say Keep an eye on our social media pages oh, for nice. more exciting news. Well, give us, give us those pages so that we can dive straight into them. Give us the, the social media page. Uh, definitely, tsokosan.co.za. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's where it's happening. So, yeah, definitely come and have a look, montecasino.co.za. And, and follow us on Facebook because obviously all the exciting events that have come up, uh, that's where it's going to be shared. Yeah. And I can tell you now that we're going to be looking at having a few more exciting events, especially with the uh, South African Hall of Fame. And this is definitely not going to be the last time that something Beautiful. exciting as this is happening at Monte Casino. All right, so stick around. Hoping we see you some more you come visit us next time at definitely the studio Robert, definitely yeah? Robert. thanks thanks so much Perun, thank you so much indeed uh, he is the online betting director at sohasan joining us right here on hashtag marawa sports worldwide so thanking him very very much indeed oh man you know when i tell you about the rolls royce of everybody that's coming through uh, from the Mutaung family bobby Mutaung just joined us hey football manager at kaiser chiefs good to see you good congratulations see you, man evening congratulations to the chairman to the to the God Almighty who has given us a blessed day today. I mean, how do you feel? I spoke to Junior. Now I'm chatting to you, and you could almost sense the emotion in his eyes and his face. For Bobby Mdawung, what's this moment about? Well, for us, is to celebrate uh, the chairman's uh, achievements, obviously the, the blessings that uh, God had given him, to celebrate the gift that he served from the gift that he has, and uh, that God-given gift that he adhered to it, to serve the country, to serve the nation. Um, there's a picture there, if you can see. There are two people in this world that I know of, that have served the country, that have touched the souls and the spirits of the people and served the people. There's Madiba yeah. and Kaiser Mutau. And I think Dr. Mutau has served um, as a servant of the Lord to make sure that sports unites, sports gives hope, sports it's, it's a, it brings people you know, to life. And I think, uh, which is what Madiba was saving, it was more about the people of the country, it was more about uh, the, 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 the children of this world. I mean, how many children has the chairman uh, developed in football? How many children has he schooled? How many children has he, I mean, the village itself, where he has built a village, it's for developing kids, it's for giving kids life and opportunities. And I think he served, and uh, today is one of this, uh, those days where it's very testimony to, to the fact that uh, you know, the man deserves to accurate, he deserves to be honored. The proud thing that I'm proud of today is he's alive to see it happening. Absolutely. He's alive to receive it. He's alive to get it. Instead of us honoring him, you know, when he's not here, we are blessed as a family to still have him alive to see this day happening. I mean, he's knocking on 80, which is again a plus, and, and, and God has given him good health. I mean, I see him, I see him walking. You know, yeah, sure, old age will always creep in, but I still see the man who was a football player in the same way I saw Banks at Lodi just a short while ago. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys feed him? What does he feed himself because he's really well, looking he's good? A, he's an athlete. He's always been an athlete, a sportsman. Uh, he keeps himself fit, eats well, looks after himself. I think I'm challenged with that with him yeah. uh, in terms of the food. <laughs> I had to go to hospital actually to change my diet. But oh. uh, if you look at the man, his health, and, but, but it all comes again from the spiritual part of him, of living good, of living happy, of, of being free and pure in his soul. You know, he's happy to see what is happening with, with, with rugby. He's happy to see what's happening with football itself growing, the PSL, where it is today. And uh, he's living healthy. He's happy. Look, I know, we know we've not given him trophies for the past few, few years. Few, few years. Mm -hmm. But he knows the challenge. He knows what it takes to achieve and to win, and the patience of winning. And I think we are blessed, truly blessed, with his age. At his age, he's alive, he's with us, and we were honoring him. I'm, I'm proud as a, as a son of him to, to, to celebrate him whilst he's still alive. I said it to on his birthday that I'm proud as a child, one of the children on this earth, to celebrate a man's God-given talent, a man like him, and celebrate him whilst he's still alive. We see people when they die, we honor them, we do things, give accolades. Today he's alive to receive it. It's all glory to him. But most of all, I mean, there's a mother 
behind. There's a woman behind Mama Juleka. I think she also deserves accolades to, to, to bear the patience of what the, uh, the chairman has gone through to, to allow the servant of the Lord to serve what he, she's been part of it. And I think it's an honor also for her to, to, to be part of this. This is part of her journey with, with my father. And I think it's an emotional day for all of us. And I think for me, the chairman deserves the utmost. And uh, he got it we, whilst he's still alive. What more can we give, Robert? I was going to say, and I don't know if he's come out of his car, because I was told that he was listening to the show as he's driving here. My final word to you, Bobby, is that if he's still listening and you want to say something to him via this platform, what would you say to him in this moment, just moments ahead of his induction into the Hall of Fame? Robbie, I would say to my father, or to the chairman, Dr. Mutaung, well-deserved journey of life. As, as somebody, I, I'm, I'm fortunate to be born by him. I'm fortunate to be part of this Kansas Chiefs brand as an industry that I grew up in. I'm proud of also contributing towards that legacy that he's served, that he has built. And um, it's still a long way to go for us. It's, still, it's going to be for a lifetime. For me, as long as I'm alive, I'll still be serving my father. I'll be still serving him. And uh, God bless him. And God bless him. And with the, with the vision, the passion, and the journey ahead, may God bless him with many more blessings for the future, for the other generations and generations to come. Wow. Very powerful, very apt. Baba, I thank you so much. I wish you good health. Um, you. I wish you long life. I wish you the strength to carry this journey, this legacy, this enormous institution of Kaiser Chiefs forward. It's all in your hands as a family, and I wish you good health. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bobim Dawong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Robs. Thank really you appreciate much. it. Thank, thank you so, so much indeed. Uh, that's uh, Bobim Dawong, the football manager there at uh, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, joining us right here on hashtag MSW on 947 for my FM, Rise FM, and so went on live. And we do have uh, Neil Tovey also here. Uh, Neil is here, and uh, we're just going to have a quick word with him. Uh, just to wrap things up uh, with him. <laughs> Here's the superstar. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm very good, man. How are you? I'm all right. I love the hairstyle. <laughs> what, what, why do the coaches call you that name? <laughs> they call you they call you Dove. <laughs> Neil Chauvin, I'm sure you'd have given him a couple of uh, defensive uh, instructions as well. <laughs> uh, firstly, I know we've we got very limited time. What you're seeing now is a historical occasion. I'm seeing Lucas go through. I've seen all manner of individuals that I hear go through. <sighs> How does Neil Tovey, as a, as a former captain of this institution, feel about Kaizam Daung being given this opportunity, a rare opportunity? Neil? Evening, Rob, and the listeners. Oh, uh, man. Obviously, it should have been long overdue. Yeah. What this man has done for South African football, not just Charles the Chiefs, but South African football. And uh, if you can think of coming out from a player to think, you know, create a team, yeah. okay, that's fine. But to create an empire and a brand that he has created is unbelievable. Not many, not many former players can do that. And that's what's so, so special. And that's what he's getting recognized for. And so, so special in the terms that, you know, he's built... He saw the vision with with um, with Chiefs mm -hmm. to to create a brand that is known all around the world, not 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 just an African continent, not just. I mean, in bands South bands have been formed after the name Kaiser Chiefs oh, after yeah, Lucas went to play at least. Hundred yeah. percent. And uh, you know, it's an institution, and uh, the success that that institution has had in its short lifespan. Yeah. And it's very short for a football club. I mean, some football clubs have got a hundred year history, but. Kaiser Chiefs' last band is very short, and what they've achieved in such a short space of time is done by and led by him. And, uh, you know, what was special about Kaiser was the fact that you could always leave the training ground, walk up those steps, and have a conversation with the man, and, uh, and have a special conversation, sometimes football, sometimes otherwise. And, uh, and that, was, that was what was so good. Uh, is it, as a chairman, he was always approachable, and you could always discuss different areas and different areas of the game and different aspects of the game because in the 90s when I was at Chiefs it was a transitional phase with all the players going overseas and all that so it was a difficult period but we still managed to win and uh, and the attributes of Naturina getting built and so 
a very, very special. She's, I mean, what, what, special a, what a place that is right now, Neil. I mean, uh, Nancherina is what it is. We've yeah. got all of two minutes left, so we've got to try and wrap it up. How, how does Neil Tovey, via this platform, via the occasion of celebrating an icon of Dr. Kaizam Daung's induction into the Hall of Fame, how do you then tell the next generation of players, the current generation, the generation that will be playing on Saturday in the Soweto Derby, how important an institution this is and how important it is, Neil, for them to do better? That is, that is the key to Kaiser Chiefs. When you put that jersey on, you're not just putting it on for yourself. Yeah. It's, it's about forgotten heroes, uh, not forgotten heroes, but past heroes yeah. and, and players that have come and gone, that have been icons of the game. And how special it is to put that jersey around your neck. I always regarded it as my last game. I never knew there was going to be another game for me. And I treated it as such. And I think the players of this generation have to do that. They have to say, I'm going to play, I'm going to run that extra, I'm going to make an extra tackle, I'm going to do that extra yard, I'm going to make a decent cross. And, and know what it is when you put that jersey over your shoulder and over your head. And that's what I think is lacking is that is that they don't realize what an institution Kaza Chiefs is until you really, until they've gone from the institution. And then they'll realize how big and what they've missed. Hashtag MSW.